let's talk about transcutaneous aortic valve replacement it's called tower which patients actually need tower you know any patient who has severe aortic stenosis aortic stenosis is nothing but the tightening of your aortic valve that's the major valve in between your heart and the major blood vessel so your heart your heart has to pump against this valve for the blood to reach the entire body so when you have when this valve is tight pretty tight it cannot pump and then your circulation to the entire body is reduced and you'll have passing out episodes you can have congestive heart failure symptoms like shortness of breath or you can have chest pains if this is left untreated it can cause cardiomyopathy or weakening of the heart over time which might not be reversible you know so you will have to treat it when you start having these symptoms and for older patients especially um, you might not be a surgical candidate you know the surgery might be too risky or too complicated and your surgeon might feel that it's high high risk to do the surgery rather than just leaving them alone so in those kind of patients we can do what is called tower transcutaneous aortic valve replacement wherein you can go through the groin with a cath with a with a catheter and then you just deploy the valve the new valve using the catheter uh, you just push the valve which is tight and then you just deploy it so you have a valve in a valve and then you have a new valve there uh, it's barely a one hour procedure and um, you have a new valve which is perfectly functioning and uh, it has sh the new data has shown that these valves actually last longer than 10 to 15 years like any other bioprosthetic valve or any other tissue valve which you get which you can get placed with open heart surgery but right now it's only for patients who cannot get surgery done uh, because of high risk where the surgeon has to say that um, you know, it's a high risk. It's high risk for this patient to undergo open heart surgery. That's when we are doing tower. But 10 years from now, maybe we'll have more data on its longevity, and you might be able to do it instead of doing an open heart surgery, even on patients who you know who might be low to moderate risk for open heart surgeries.